number of cities in Canada are scrambling to get field hospitals set up and running. Hospitals are often at capacity during the ordinary flu season. So with the expected surge of COVID-19 cases, getting more beds in place is a matter of life and death. Jeff Semple explains. This Canadian charity responds to disasters around the world, from the earthquake in Haiti to the Ebola outbreak in Sierra Leone. But they're now looking to deploy their resources on home turf. We've offered up our critical infrastructure tenting, you know, these big tents that we use as field hospitals. But so far, only a couple of hospitals have taken them up on the offer. If we're going to need field hospitals, we're going to need them in the next two weeks. So it's not something that you can turn around on a dime. These makeshift field hospitals, providing space for more beds and medical supplies, are slowly sprouting up in communities across the country. Vancouver's iconic convention center is making room for around 270 beds, while Edmonton's Butterdome Sports Arena will soon be used to treat dozens of COVID-19 patients with milder symptoms. This hospital in Burlington, southwest of Toronto, is now a construction zone, working to nearly double its number of hospital beds. Experts say these projects are a great start but we've got a long way to go. Canada has around 3,200 intensive care beds. That's about half as many as other developed countries, according to the OECD, despite spending more on health care. COVID-19 aside, uh, the flu season, uh, many hospitals, and we're not uh, different from that, have been running at 110 to 120% occupancy just with a regular flu. So far, about 10% of Canada's cases have required hospitalization. And the outbreak in other countries has shown a direct link between the number of available ICU beds and patient deaths. Once you run out of ICU capacity, your mortality rate does increase, uh, certainly because some of those patients you could have saved if they would have gone on a ventilator. Ontario plans to provide 900 new ICU beds, just enough for the province's projected best case scenario. Jeff Semple, Global News, Burlington, Ontario. This virus is killing business everywhere, and we know so many of you are hurting. That includes hotels. Many have shut down. Those that are still open are becoming a place of refuge for all kinds of people who have nowhere else to go. Ross Lord reports. In the Montreal suburb of Laval, this is less a hotel than it is a field hospital. All of the hotel staff uh, is, is not there. They've been replaced with hospital staff. The hospital has essentially leased out the, uh, the hotel and are operating that as a, as a hospital. With 90% of hotel rooms in Canada suddenly empty, a growing number are being repurposed. These are not, uh, not uh, coronavirus patients. These are... Uh, uh, these are patients that are in the hospital for other reasons, and they're relocating them uh, to, you know, to, in, in, in this case, our hotel and other hotels across the country. This Heritage Hotel in downtown Toronto could be forced to close because of the devastating drop in revenue. Until then, it's offering rooms to nurses. We reached out to the Nurses Association and to the hospital network to let them know that we are offering a heavily discounted rate just to support them so that they're not having to stay in tents in their garages at home or commute back and forth from work. A spirit of goodwill is growing with some hotel franchisees offering rooms for free. The new arrangements are not only for health care. This Halifax hotel is hosting almost 300 Navy sailors. They're being isolated in their rooms for 14 days. Then they'll be at sea on standby for pandemic response. Makeshift arrangements that everyone hopes are strictly short term. Ross Lord, Global News. Jeff will continue to consult with experts and try to answer your questions. Send them to your questions at globalnews.ca. And on our website, you'll find a special page dedicated entirely to COVID-19. That's at globalnews.ca slash coronavirus.